Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So, dollar is getting a hiding of note at the moment, and uh, we're actually seeing it in my local currency, the Rand, which was probably one of the leading emerging, emerging currencies against the dollar yesterday. And uh, we had a quick 6% uh, move over the last couple of days. So, massive, massive move, big break. Uh, I suppose you could actually, technically speaking, call that a flat top triangle. Missed that one. Anyway, uh, it was a cup and handle as well. Big cup and handle. So anyway, it has broken through. There is pretty much zero support to the downside at the moment. So what you're going to have to be doing is just go quite far back. And we've broken through there. So there is... There's an area of potential resistance up there. Right, so uh, let's just get straight down to the hour. There's nothing that I can help you with here on the 8th hour. So that is a pretty solid move. So And a bit of a lesson here. This is what you would call a spike. So it's a massive move very quickly. And normally what happens when that happens, it just gradually forms a channel. And there you can see there's the, the channel that is formed. So if you move your British Channel tool in here, you'll see what I'm talking about. And it can stay overbought like this for an extended period of time. So what you're looking for is you're going to have to be down at something like the 15 minutes. So the high of yesterday will definitely offer some support. And then this little area here would also offer support. It does look like it's played out already. But anyway... Uh, wait for European Open. If you do get some support on 112, 112 293, that would, would be a worthwhile opportunity to buy into this. Uh, 112, 197 is another area, and you're basically aiming for 112813. If you are holding long here, I'd be putting stop. I'd be picking one of these 15 minute swing lows over here, or maybe just below this level, just to. Move a stop up and then take profit up here. That's kind of the view that we would have there. Moving on to the dollar, US dollar, Japanese yen. Another rejection, quite decent rejection as we were expecting yesterday. Uh, just going to do that. Um, and you look left, you can see the structure there. Uh, the minute you get down to the hour, you can see we sort of missed the first one and then got it over here before getting moving so for me this is still more of the same get your levels in and remember just to put more than one in so one two and I'd actually look at this low here as well you're looking for a pullback onto that and you're looking for a continuation to the downside that continuation uh, we've broken through there so that would make the most logical sense you're looking for us to get to 137024 so we might actually get there first before pulling back and coming and testing this for the opportunity to the downside so uh, just wait for the structure before jumping in moving on to pound and uh, British pound Japanese yen we did get moving we moved to the upside and missed the first level that looked like we are bouncing off this. So that is 18.255. And if we just drop down to the one hour, you're going to see fairly decent rejection that happened at the close. Not really comfortable with that price action. So what we need to do is just pay attention to the next level. So this would be the next one here. If we can reject this at 188.20, then that's going to set up a fairly decent flag break. So a big move down flag, continuation to the downside. And I would argue that you're going to be testing this low again. Um, and the reason for that is because we bounced off this for some reason. And it typically gets tested twice. So that's 179488. This was a green day on, um, on the daily. So just bear that in mind at the moment. So this move here has happened after hours or in the Asian session. So I'm not really comfortable with this. I think I'm going to leave that one alone. Uh, moving on to Euro-British pound. 
and we're kind of still all over the place here, uh, sort of right in amongst the moving averages, but look at the oscillators again. This could be setting up for something to the downside. Um, really messy. So we have broken through the moving averages, we've come back below the moving averages, now we're above the moving averages. So if you just narrow your vision, you're going to see we are playing above and below the moving averages. And when we do that, we don't really want to get involved with it. So, yeah, so I think for the pound, I'm on the sides. For the dollar, you're looking to go with uh, the dollar weakness. So look for your opportunities and buy or sell against dollar pairs, depending which way around they are. But um, dollar weakness, I think, is going to continue for a shorter, well, for a longer period of time, I think, at the moment. Okay, anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps. And if it does, don't forget to drop us a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment. And uh, we'll catch up with you on uh, Monday morning. Enjoy your weekend.